Okay, so question number nine here. So this is um, about a prism. We're asked to find the volume of this prism. We've got this diagram here. As always, it's not drawn very accurately. Um, let's think about the key points. Well, using the formula sheet, and that's that thing at the front of the book uh, exam paper that some of you don't ever look at, but it's really useful. Um, if you look at that, if you look at the formula page, it gives us this. The volume of a prism, ooh, this is a prism. The volume of the prism is the area of the cross-section times the length. That means it's the area on the end, whatever that is, times by the length. And in this diagram here, it's like a kind of weird sausage shape that it's the prism because it's the same all the way through. If I sliced it this way, I'm always going to get that weird shape that's on the end. It's kind of like a bendy triangle. So if I slice this, I should get, oops, some kind of shape that looks like that if I cut a slice into it. So every slice looks the same, so that's what makes it a prism. Okay, so let's just get rid of that. So I need to find the area on the end first, and then once I find the area on the end, I can go ahead and I can then sort myself out and work out what the volume is quite easily by multiplying by 20. Well, this area on the end is this, is this compound shape made up of a couple of rectangles. You can kind of split it up in all sorts of ways. You could split it across the top there. I'm going to choose to split it down there. So we've got shape A on the front and shape B. So, so the area of the cross section is the area of A plus the area of B. And that's really easy to work out. So the area of A is just it's a rectangle which is 5 wide and 7 tall. So it's just 5 times 7 added on B, which is 4 high and multiplied by, well, the whole width is 11 and some of the width is 5. So this width here must be 6 going from here to here. So it's plus 4 times 6. So that's just... 35 added to 24, which is, I believe, 59 centimetres squared, because it was an area. So what I've got to do find the volume. The volume is just then 59 centimetres squared times by 20 centimetres, which, to be honest, you can do in your head and double it and then times it by uh, 10. But you've got a calculator as well, so it's just 59 times 20. Oh, might have to type it in right. And it's just uh, 1,180 centimetres cubed. And they've even given us the centimetres cubed, so there was no mark for that. Just 1,180. Now, you'll find that there is an alternative way that you could have split it up in an alternative fashion. Um, so if you'd chosen to split it along here, you would have had a 5 by this length here is worth 3, because that's 4 plus the 3 must mean the total 7. So that means that um, we have to do 5 times 3 added to, well, what's this length? So it's 11 times 4 plus 11 times 4. So the alternative, um, and we should, alternative, um, so it's 15 plus 44, which is exactly 59 centimetres squared again. Okay, so, um, and then obviously we've got to multiply that by the length, whichever way you do it, straightforward, I hope.